because it's only his life. It's through him that you're alive today. It's, you can't save yourself. Nobody, your, your mom can't save you, your dad can't save you. Only Jesus can save you. And that's, that's what it is. Everything else is going to lead you to the pit. It's as broad as the way to destruction. And narrow is the way to heaven. So everybody around you, all your friends is going one way, you must go the other way. And it's going to be a lonely road. You're going to feel like you're all alone in this road, in this life. You're going to feel like, man, it's, it's 99 to 1. It's like everybody's going this way and everybody wants to live this way and everybody thinks this way is right, but really it's wrong. Right now, in the, in the last days, it says everything that is good will be called evil and everything that is evil will be called good. Right now we have uh, transgender pastors in churches supporting same-sex marriage. That is blasphemy. That is blasphemy to the fullest, to the highest. But no, they're going to the world's ways. The church is following culture more than they're following God. And guess what? They're going to lead you straight to the pit. And I'm here to tell you today that you can be pulled out of the pit. When you believe in the Lord Jesus, He can save you from that pit. God doesn't desire for anybody to go to hell. God doesn't desire for anybody to die and go to hell. He wants all souls to be saved. He wants all souls to be in heaven with Him. But the choice is yours. Ultimately, that's why He gave us free will. You know, God could have just all made us the same and just made us all like robots and just doing it but that's not actually freedom God gave us his freedom and this will so we can follow him this the choice is yours it's, it's a test this whole this whole life is a test whether you accept them or you reject them there's many times I have rejected him even though I was saved I was I, I confessed two weeks ago I, I was sinning like the devil but guess what I even felt that the, that the Lord left I was like, Lord, you're gone. I, I know what I did was it grieved you, Holy Spirit. I'm sorry. But then when I got into the Word, He revealed Himself and He says, I'm still with you, my son. I love you. And I was like, whoa. Hallelujah. But I'm saying, do not go back into living. Go, don't go back to your vomit. Because going back to your vomit is going to leave you in the vomit. And you're going to feel so very detached you're gonna feel I almost I felt like I was about to have a mental breakdown I felt like I was about to go to the insane asylum because that's how consumed I was in my sin but there was a way out and that's through him and that's name is Jesus you know it's very simple it's very easy for God to talk to you a lot of people says I want to hear God I want to talk to God you know, you know how easy it is for God to talk to you? Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Play Russian roulette with the Bible. I do that all day. And that's what God is. I'm here, my boy. I love you. When the devil's attacking you and the devil's like, ah, ah and you're, you're all feeling tormented in your mind, that's how loud your worship should be. Your worship should be loudest ever. You, you, your worship should be like you're in a concert worshiping God. Come on. Because... When you worship God, it's like you're activating the angels. The angels are like, woo! Like, when, you, when you're around other people and you're preaching the word of God, the angels are like excited when you're, when you're talking about God's word. Because he's like, because the angels are always in the presence of God. But when us believers are speaking about Jesus out in earth, they're like, whoa! What do they know that we don't know? And you know, God made man higher than angels. It's not that we can control the angels, but the angels are looking out for us. And that's why Satan hates you, because we are made in the image of God. And Satan, being him, he wanted to be worshipped as God. And that's what sent him to hell. That's what sent him to earth. And he just hates mankind. And even if you were to sell your soul to the devil and you were to get all the riches and fame you wanted, guess what? The devil still hates you. 
he still hates you and he will do anything to take you away. He'll kill you on his time. Like I just seen, uh, what was this guy, this rapper Migos, one of the guys, uh, Takeoff, was just recently killed. And um, the whole thing to it was he sold his soul for the fame and the riches. He got the riches. He got the fame. He, uh, he started, they started their career about 2013, and um, he died in 2022. Not even 10 years in fame, and the devil took him out that fast. You see, is, is, your, is your soul worth nine years of fame? Is your soul worth the millions of dollars you get, but nine years only? The devil don't play fair. He don't care about you. I may not have anything to my name. I may have zero in my bank account, no money in my pocket, no relationship, no wife, no nothing. But guess what? I have Jesus and that's everything. I cannot have anything. You could take everything away from me. But you know who I have? I have Jesus and that's everything. Come on. Can I get a hallelujah? Wow! Hallelujah! Wow! Come on! And I can say you can have this today. Absolutely 100% free. Nothing in this world is free, but salvation is free. And you can have this today by simply believing with your heart, confessing with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and you shall be saved. Hallelujah. 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 Come, on. Come on. Jesus died. He didn't need to die for you, but he died for you because he loved you. You know, your best friend won't even die for you. But Jesus is considered, Jesus is considered, uh, what was that? Um, the brother you never had. Jesus was the, the friend that would lay down his life for his own friends. Jesus didn't need to, he didn't have to, but he did. Why? Because he didn't want you to go to hell. Hell was not made for humans. Hell was made for the devil and his fallen angels. But us humans choose to follow the world and the ways of the world. And guess what? The world is not, is not owned by God. It was. The world was created by God and was owned by God, but guess what? Adam lost the legal rights. And how did he lose the legal rights? When he ate from the tree of the, of the, the tree of the knowledge and good and evil. When he ate from that tree, he legally lost the keys to this world. And now the keys are legally owned by Satan. And he is the God of this world. And everything that's of this world magnifies Satan and not God. That's why it is a fight, it is a battle. Because it's us versus them. There's only two people in this world. God's children and the devil's children. The sheep and the goats. Who are you? Are you a sheep or are you a goat? Are you God's children or are you the devil's children? 